Hey guys, I am back with a unboxing video for you today. Now the reason why I did the air quotes was because I've actually already opened it to see what was in it. I could not wait and I find for me personally it's kind of better if I actually know what's in the box before I attempt to do a video. The videos just are not great if I am struggling to figure out what is in the box ahead. So it's better if I know ahead of time for you guys. <laughs> and what I have got for you guys is the Allure Beauty Box. This is a $15 a month subscription. I decided to give it a try. I saw a little article about it in the Allure magazine, so it's really they're promoting their beauty box. And the names of the, or the product brands that they said they put in their boxes were super impressive to me. So I decided to go ahead and give it a shot. And again, if I don't like it, I will cancel it. I've done other subscription boxes in the past. I ended up canceling them all. I will tell you, based on my other subscriptions, I've only done, as far as Beauty Wise, an Ipsy bag. I ended up canceling that one. The other subscriptions that I've done were food, so you can't really compare the food to a beauty box, but I have to say, overall, this has been the most impressive box that I have ever subscribed to so far with just the first one. You get a card inside of it or a pamphlet per se that tells you what each item is and a little bit about the product and then it gives you the price at the bottom of what the full size of that item would cost. And it also came with this little pamphlet right here. It's just asking you to do some social media if you like what you got. And on the back of it is a free gift with purchase from Estee Lauder at Bloomingdale Bloomingdales.com if you want to do that. So let's just go ahead and open the box for you guys. I'm going to remove the lid. And I need to be very careful about this. I don't want to dump any of the contents in the floor. And I'm looking to see if I've got it upside down, and I do not. So there's just some tissue paper right here. So I opened it up, and I will tell you, this item was the first thing that kind of stood out to me. So um, I'm just going to go in order, though, of how it's listed in the little pamphlet, and then show you each individual thing. So the first thing in the pamphlet is the Bumble and Bumble hairdresser invisible oil heat UV protective primer and it says the full size is $27 for 8.5 ounces and this is the sample that I received and I have to say I am very impressed with the sample sizes I think I don't know the brands or the sample sizes they're kind of up there together that has impressed me the most and you get one fluid ounces of this Bumble and Bumble product and of course I have heard of Bumble and Bumble many times before from watching various YouTube videos so excited about that. The next item is from Super Goop and I have heard of it before. I've received some free samples from Sephora from this brand but I don't recall if I've ever used any of them. So if anybody has used anything from Super Goop, let me know what you think about it. This particular item is the Super Goop Defense Refresh Setting Mist Broad Spectrum Sunscreen with SPF of 50. Now the thing that makes me a little bit nervous, it says it's got rosemary in it and I'm not a huge fan of rosemary so I may give this a try and if I don't like the scent I'll just pass it on to somebody that doesn't mind it. You get 0.5 fluid ounces. The full size is 3.4 ounces for $28. The next thing is one of the things that I probably am most excited about and it is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Serum. Super excited about this. I've, how many of you, obviously, you guys have heard of Estee Lauder, more than likely. They're a huge brand. 0.5 ounces is $65, so that is a pretty significant uh, price tag on this item. So it came in this little box, and I said it says I get one, I mean, excuse me, 0.14 fluid ounces. This is the little container that it comes in and it's a pump. So you just pump a little bit out and I would do it on the ring finger and then just dab underneath the eye. I mean, I am so excited about this particular product right there. The next item is the Oscar 
Blondie Pronto Invisible Volumizing Dry Shampoo. I have heard a lot about the Oscar Blonde brand. I hope I got that name right. And I've heard great things about it. And the full size is 5 ounces and it's $25. This one is 1.4 ounces. So I think this is an excellent size sample of this product. And it says it leaves no white residue. How many of you have used dry shampoo and got some white residue? One night, later in the day, I had to spray some other dry shampoo on my hair. Later in the day, I went and looked in the mirror and I thought all, all of a sudden I got gray hair because there was this lots and lots of white residue. I had overdone it. That was my fault, but it, it scared me for a minute. I thought all of a sudden I went gray, but it was the white residue. Thank goodness <laughs> from that. But this says it does not leave white residue, and I have used this a couple times this week, and it does not leave the white residue, and so far I'm really liking this product. So super excited about that. The next item is something this is the one item that i have never heard of the brand before and it's called an invisi bobble and you get three of these and it says on here it's eight dollars for three of these so right here this one thing is more than half of what the box is worth for three so i think it is great value for the box so what this is it says it's an artificial resin hair tie and it says it looks like a phone cords and I've already taken one of these out so here's what it looks like so you get three of these in the box and if you have seen a landline phone the cord this is what they look like and it says it's not going to leave that indention in your hair when you remove just a normal ponytail holder you get that kind of indention and this says it will not do it um, not sure I 100% love the design. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but I'm definitely going to try this ponytail holder. I think it's a, I mean, I think it's a pretty novel idea. Kind of interesting looking. We, we shall see, and I will report back on my thoughts on that. Then the last item is not something that I would personally use, but a lot of you guys do use this product, and it is the Estee Lauder scrumptious infinite inf, infinite infinite i'll get that word out in a minute uh daring length plus volume mascara this again this is not something i would use so i'm going to probably pass this on to a friend of mine and the full price of this is 26 dollars. but overall i think there has been great value for 15 dollars. the amount of the products there have been no foil packets in this box like I have seen in a lot of Birch Box unboxings. And it's only $5 more than the Birch or the Ipsy boxes. I believe those are $10. I'm highly, highly impressed with the Allure Beauty Box. I'm not wanting to rush the month of July away, but I am looking forward to see what will be coming in August box, the box for August. So um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please leave me a comment and let me know if you have tried, number one, any of these products in this box that I have shown, or if you've got the Allure Beauty Box. I would love to hear from you guys and what your thoughts on any of these products are or what you think about the box. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, everybody.